Welcome to jQuery video series and this is part 106 and today we are going to look at the scroll left function of jQuery. Alright, so before I jump into the code, I'm assuming that you might be having a jQuery file with you into your project and you have also added the reference of that into your head section and you might be having a basic JavaScript code in order to execute our jQuery instruction. Okay, so first of all, let's have a look at the markup and let's see how does it look like. So this is a markup and you can see I have one, two, three and four paragraphs here out of which the first one and the last one looks a bit interesting. The first one has the border of a red color. So this is because I have added the class red that has the border as 5px and the color is red. So that explains. Right, so this is pretty simple. So, so the same you can, you know, assume for the green as well. Right, so what I've done over here is the for the green, I have added the border of 5px and the color is green. So that's why I'm getting the border right here. Now, interesting thing to notice over here is this element has a scroll on it. So how do I get the horizontal scroll? If you want to get a scroll, so what you need to do is you need, this border is pretty understandable. You need to set the width and height in order to restrict them, you know, because we have a huge content here. So I want to restrict. So I'm going to reduce the width and height. Next, I am going to, you know, uh, there's a property called as white space, which generally uh, wraps your content. But over here, I'm saying I don't want to wrap. I want the content to flow across the document. So the, I'm saying no wrap. And in the end, I'm saying, so what I'm doing, so if I do this, okay, uh, as a proof, I'm showing you the content is moving across, right? And when I use the magic property as overflow as auto or scroll, I get a scroll bar, right? So you're getting my point. So this is how we get a scroll bar in HTML using some CSS. Now uh, let's look at these two buttons. So what these are doing, it says get the scroll bar left value. So if I click this, I'm getting the value as 2600 right here. Let's use the list set left value. If I use this, you saw that my scroll left has moved inside. And if I try to get the value again, it is 400. So how did I do that using jQuery? Let's find out. So I, uh, as I explained, I have two buttons. One is get and one is set on which I have written the click. So what I'm telling jQuery is, hey jQuery, anytime when somebody clicks on the get button, I want you to find the last paragraph, which is right here, okay? And once you find that element, I want you to get its left position of the scroll bar and whatever value you find, you save it in this variable called as val. After that, I want you to find the paragraph who has the red class, which is right here, and update its text to the value we just found, which is here. Okay, so get part is pretty simple, right? So that is the reason why the moment you move your scroll and when I do left, I'm getting the values right here. In set, what I'm doing is, I'm um, again focusing on the same element and I'm setting its scroll left property as the numeric value, whichever I want to use. And in the end, I'm giving the alert that set is complete. Now, the fun part is you have seen the set. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set its value to 7,000. All right, and now I'm going to do the refresh. So let me do the refresh. So I'm going to set the value as 7,000. So you can see the scroll has left till the end. And if I try to get the value as, uh, you know, the left value, it is 5139. So you might freak out and you might say, this is wrong. This, there's something wrong with the jQuery. But the actual reason, this is not wrong. Uh, there's an answer to that, but I want you to give me that answer as a homework. So I'll be waiting for your answer in the comment box. So once again, thank you for your time on this and thank you for listening to me. Up next, we are going to look at the scroll top function. So I hope to see you there.